Hey friends, it's Jessie. Welcome back to the channel. Today I have my second update on my Pamela's eyeshadows project. I have made so much progress and slight spoiler, we're going to have a ton of new shades this update. So if you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed so you never miss out on any of my updates. And with that, let's jump into the video. So this month I actually found a new way of focusing on my eyeshadows to make it a little bit easier and kind of inspire me to work with them a little bit more. For all of my shadows that I was able to depot pretty easily, I ended up putting them in a ColourPop empty single palette. So this is the empty palette, but I will include a video of kind of what my overall palette looked like. I included all of the ColourPop shades I was working on as well as some of the other ones that were a little easier to depot um, just with a magnet or with like a paper clip. Um, and then I threw in some shades that I thought complemented them pretty well, so that way I could work on them all together. I do plan on doing that again this month, so I will include a picture of what my new palette looks like in the next update, um, but I want to see what shades we roll in this time. The first shade I have to share is from my Tartan Aspen Ovard palette, and the shade I've been working on is Brilliant. Um, and this is the top shade up here. I did manage to hit pan on this shadow. I used this one a total of 15 times this month or a grand total of 46 uses in the project. And as you can see, I did manage to hit pan. It's like blurry for some reason, but there is pan in there. I will include pictures. This one I actually hit pan on pretty quickly after filming my last update. So I did end up rolling in a new shade, which I filmed my select process so you will see the new shade at the end um, but I use this one primarily as an inner corner and brow bone highlight still and I paired it a lot with future self which you will see later in the project the next shade I have comes from my ColourPop Lemoncello palette and this shade is the shade Capri which is this green metallic shade and as you can see there is a nice pan going on in this shadow this one i didn't expect to hit pan on i thought i was just going to hit my usage goal and then have to roll it out but i did manage to hit a good size pan on that shadow i included it in my singles palette and got a lot of use out of it that way i paired it a lot with um seychelles which you'll see next and i also used it as a lid shade um, primarily there was one day pretty early on in the month where I did a kind of watermelon look I did red in my crease and then I used this uh, shade all over the lid to kind of create like a watermelon look and I really liked that this shade was fun to use but I'll be honest I was getting sick of the color and a lot of the looks I did with this one kind of all looked the same um, but I am excited to have hit pan and roll this one out I forgot to mention my uses so I use this shade nine times this month for a grand total of 19 uses since rolling it in so that is how many times I used Capri. The third shade I've been working on is Seychelles from my Riviera palette. I used this one 10 times this month for a grand total of 19 uses. And it's hard to see. In fact, I don't know if you'll be able to see it on camera. But when you hit it just right, I did manage to hit a tiny pinhole pan on this shadow. Maybe if I include pictures, you'll be able to see it a little better. I will probably use it a couple times more in the next month just to deepen that pan a little bit. But as a whole, I was again getting kind of sick of this shade. And it wasn't so much the shade itself that bothered me. It was more of the quality. I honestly think the quality of this palette is starting to go down because this shade just was so chalky. It was so dry and I found myself having to pair it with a very similar shade for my Jeffree Star Blue Blood palette to really get that pigment to stay throughout the day or use it with a glitter glue. It just was wearing off super quick and as a whole it's a pretty shade but I am excited to not work on this one anymore either. Shade number four is from my ColourPop in a trans palette and we are taking a break from sharing pan. The shade I was working on is this kind of pastel blue shade. I have used Used this one 15 times this month for a grand total of 20 uses since rolling it in and again I am sick of working on this shade it literally you're just now starting to see a little bit of disturbance in the pan I use this one primarily as an inner corner highlight underneath brilliance and then once I hit pan on brilliance I use this one mixed with a ton of other inner corner highlights just to use it and honestly i'm tired of using this one so it's a really pretty shade and it's still eligible to be rolled in in the future if i so do that um but as of right now i just need a break so i am rolling this one out because i did hit my 20 uses goal moving along my next shade is from my ColourPop frozen 2 on a palette and the shade i've been working on is the shade wind up here 
I have used this one a total of 15 times and you're starting to see just like maybe the slightest dip. It really just looks more like disturbance, but I have gotten a lot of use out of the other shades in this palette as well. Scooch In and then Charades were both shades that I put in my singles palette when I made that. Wind did not get the most love. I did use it a lot, but the thing about ColourPop shadows is I feel like, especially when you're using them on fluffy brushes, they're just so densely packed that it's hard to make a dent in them. I use this one as a crease shade and pretty much anytime I did a neutral look I use this one and I even tried to mix it in with other shadows to try and use it. I used it as a crease shade when I used Capri so I would do like green and neutral, warm tone neutrals. I use this one a ton. Um, I am going to keep this one in the project because I have not hit my use goal and I am excited to see the progress I can make on this shade but I do need a break and to roll some new things in so this one is staying in the project. Oh, let me swatch. I feel like I didn't do swatches in my last update. Do y'all care about swatches? Do you wanna see the swatches in my shadows or do you just care about the photos? Let me know. But that is what wind looks like. It's just kind of like an orangey neutral shade. The way I've been doing my project is I randomly select five shades and then I personally select one shade to work on. And the shade I selected for myself to work on comes from my Naked Heat palette and it is the shade Chaser. So this one, I did not expect to hit pan on so quickly. I hit it in one month. I used this shade a total of 18 times and I, as you can see, did hit pan on it. I used it to set my eye primer. Um, I've found with my Fenty eye primer, which I love, it looks better when I set it with a light shade. So I've been setting it um, with like a matte cream or a matte white. And then if I'm doing a neutral look going in with Chaser, um, on a big fluffy brush to kind of use it as a transition. Um, I've been using this one a lot with wind, so pretty much any time I used wind, I used this shade, and it's, it's a pretty shade. I honestly didn't expect to hit pan on it just because these are so deep and so densely pressed, and I did work on some of the other shades at the same time, so I worked on Sauced. I used Sauced a lot when I didn't use wind, and then I also used Lumber a few times, and those I wasn't able to make as much progress on. And because this is the shade I selected for myself, I will be selecting its replacement. I already have an idea of what I want to use, but I will keep you updated. Now is the point where I'm going to include the footage of me selecting my new shade from when I hit pan on Brilliance, and then I'll update you on the progress on that shade. Hey friends, it's Editing Jessie. Um, it is September uh, 10th, and I just hit pan on a shadow that I've been working on in my project. So because it's still so early in the month, I thought I would roll in a new shade um, and I wanted to share that with you guys. So I'm going to roll one and show you the number I roll and then we'll look at the spreadsheet and look at the shade together. I'm not sure if this is gonna be a shade that's gonna stay in the project after the update or if I'm just gonna draw a new shade but I figured why not. I, it's still only the 10th and I wanna make sure that I'm using lots of shadows. So let's pick a new shade. I have my Google random number generator and the shade I got is 564. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull up my spreadsheet and we're gonna go down to 564. Color pop shadows. 564 is SoCal from Malibu Barbie. As you guys saw, the shade I selected is SoCal from my Malibu Barbie ColourPop palette, and it is this bright orange down on the bottom. I've only used this shade four times since rolling it in, and I really like this shade. It's really pretty, it's a bright orange. I found myself doing a lot of neutral looks while incorporating it into it to make it more of like an orangey neutral, like a very warm neutral. So I've actually mixed it a lot with wind and created some really pretty warm neutral looks with that. And then I've also done some all orange looks and I did one look with, uh, I used SoCal and then I used, um, some shades from my Jeffree Star Jawbreaker and created kind of like an orange pinky sorbet type look. It was so pretty. I've really liked working on this one. I've only used it four times and I feel like this will be a pretty difficult one to hit pan on because when I do use it, I don't use a ton of this one. I more mix it with other things, but I am excited to continue working on this one. So now we are going to randomly select some shades. We have three openings, so I'm going to go ahead and use my Google random number generator as always and I'm going to select three numbers so the first number I got is 1097 
Then we have 536. I swear, if these are more ColourPop ones, I love ColourPop, but they are so hard to work with. And 1561 is the last shade that I selected. So let's go ahead and see what those are. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of intimidated by the shades that we rolled in. So the first shade comes from my Juvia's Place Zulu palette. And already I know that this one's going to be a difficult one. Um, but the shade I rolled in is the yellow shade. So I'm kind of excited. I love this shade. It's one of my favorite yellows in my collection. And I feel like with the orange especially, I could do some really pretty yellow orange looks. Maybe like some candy corn looks because we're in October. Um, this swatch like awful. But this is a really fun buttery shade. I am excited. I actually remember watching... Um, what's her name? Rebecca Morgan. And she pulled this shade in to her pan those eyeshadows, I believe. And I remember it took her the longest time to hit pan on it. So this will be in for a while, I'm sure, because I want the challenge of hitting pan on this one, but it's going to take me forever. The next shade, it comes from just my favorite palette, ColourPop Limoncello. I was so excited to roll this palette out, but alas, here we are. And the shade that I rolled in is Vespa. And actually now looking at it, okay, so here is where I'm at. The other shade I rolled in is from my Too Faced Cinnamon Swirl palette and I rolled in Stay Current. And here's the deal. Both of these are very, very deep. They're different. This one is more shimmery and this one is more of a matte. So, so because they're very similar and I know that I don't want to feel stuck in this project, I'm going to actually re-roll a shade and then see which one of these two I want to continue to work on. So let me re-roll a new shade because I don't want to work on two dark browns at the same time. Um, and the shade I rolled in is 518, which is going to be another color pop, I'm sure. And the shade I rolled in again is from my ColourPop Just a Glitch palette. And the shade I rolled in is shade T9. I don't think I've actually used this palette yet. Okay, but that's a really pretty shade too. Look at that. That's a beautiful like periwinkle. So I feel like I have some fun shades to work on. So out of these two, I think I'm going to choose to put back the Lemoncello palette, partially because I'm so sick of it and partially because I have a matte brown that I am unofficially working on. Um, so I'm going to keep Stay Current. I feel like that will be a fun challenge for me. So let me go ahead and swatch that one. So that is what that one's looking like. This is our color story so far, but we do have one more shade. The shade that I am selecting to work on myself comes from my Jeffree Star Jawbreaker palette. And the shade that I selected is the shade Orange Juice. If I can like hold this, it's this shimmery metallic orange. And I chose this shade because I thought it would go really well with the matte orange and some of these neutral shades. So this is our color story. I feel like it's very perfect for Halloween, very Halloween-y. I feel like I got the perfect fall color story, so I'm not mad about that. Let me know what shades you guys are working on and what type of looks you think would be fun to do with these shades. I hope you guys have a lovely day wherever you are, and I will see you all later. Bye, friends!